Hi, my name is Jay Phelps, and this is Ear to the Ground, presented here from lovely Zakynthos, Greece, where I'm going to be married next week. On this week's episode, I'm featuring a deep spirit and incredible artist, Mr. Logan Richardson. I catch him midway through his tour with South African artist Undudzo Makathini as he performs at the Jazz Cafe in Camden Town. We go deep on a lot of topics, so this is definitely one to check out. First, I, you know, I'm not a saxophonist, I'm an artist. And anybody that wants to use me as a utility, right, meaning you want me to come and be a saxophone player in your thing, you need an alto saxophonist. That's, I mean, for that's, me. That's not your gig, it, well, somebody just, else. Well, the thing is, is that the mentality of that is completely different than that of an artist. No, no, because, I you know, it, And see, all these people, they're artists. They, my art, we don't know what they do. And so, this social media shit for me is like gotten to a point and it happened mm-hmm. in these last two years where you have to get, just get, you just get everything, bitch. Just get fucking everything. Everything you got, everything you can, everything. Why I got, should I come around the world to you? I hand deliver this shit to your doorstep, motherfuckers. All you gotta do is take a 10 minute trip, but give you more, give you more. Oh, for free all that time. And then, <laughs> so what, what are we doing? And, and this is the part where I'm just like, there has to be a way, man, I don't know. It, it, it's, it's, it, it, it think, what, where is the breaking point? I guess that's what I'm looking at. It's like, does it break or does it just keep evolving? Like, and then if it does, where, where are we going with that? I don't even know how much more as an artist you can keep giving when you're not <laughs> on the bed. It's like, it's like a constant extracting bandstand or something. Like, Because that's what got pushed forward by your hand. Other people got pushed forward because they a natural chef for you, a natural whatever. It's, called, it's called inheritance, bro. right? Yeah, yeah. That and is, inheritance, that is inheritance is not on default position a positive thing always. Right. It's inter- inheritance in the sense that you inherit something. Right. So why would you want to take their money and not everything else? Right. Of course. Well, yeah. You can't. Oh, their, 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 their homes and everything. It's their surname and everything. What well, it would almost be impossible <laughs> because all of that uh, uh, foundation of resource came from the debauchery of the, the yeah. Folks. That's just one that one like really typical right. example. Right, but right, it right, could be sure. anything. Right, right, right. It could be a ring that I leave behind for right. my kids. Right. So whatever I leave behind, it could be a story of people that are killed, mm-hmm. and and it's still Gonna part be, of what right, they right, yeah right, leave right, that right, behind. Right, absolutely. That's so cool. why are we selective about uh, uh, inheritance? Well, no, no, no. People always pick and choose the the uh, not even the contract. Well, certainly the contrast and how they exist, but what they can inherit versus what they can't. So, sure, if I'm the sweetest person in the world because my grandmother was the sweetest person in the world, and I just see myself so much in that, yeah. perfect. Yeah. But I'm not a killer or a murderer if my entire family or my uncle or my grandfather was. Yeah. No, I am. I would have to be because if I inherited my grandmother's sweetness, then I'm also that same killer <laughs> on that side. Now, what I choose to do with this amalgamation, that now becomes my choice now, exactly. like in this moment. But yeah. where I come but from, acknowledgement, yeah. acknowledgement of the fact that you got histories if you happen yeah, and, and my my of people were responsible for it. Right. If you don't acknowledge it, how could you ever make a proper choice then? Yeah. Acknowledging the yeah, other, yeah. you can't, can't. That's, but that's not what you were saying. Yeah, that's what I I'm think saying. people only choose to want to keep it's the, a selective, the, the non ugly yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and acknowledging takes you away from the top position. Yeah, I, yeah, and, I, and well, I yeah, that that part because too. it's right. all about the people who are beneath you. Right, right. My name is Logan Richardson, uh, born and raised in Kansas City, Missouri, United States. Uh, I am an artist. I have a relationship with the alto saxophone and uh, other elements inside of that particular artistry. And uh, we're in London tonight, baby. So I'm about to burn this motherfucker down and go to the next city and do the same thing. So that's why we come out when we come out. So, yeah.
wisdom and, and well I think that the, the the wisdom like comes from the, the preparation that life brings so meaning like you don't avoid uh, difficult situations in fact you know how to navigate them better and create more and uh, that's the that's the biggest thing um, and at least as I get older I prefer not to avoid uh, these spaces I think if you treat them with the same romance that you treat a, a great situation with or however then you you're surprised how that great situation actually started in a way that wasn't seemingly so great um, but if you stop you kind of stay stuck in a certain part of your evolution or i guess in that particular sense you're not evolving um, the way you could so yeah i just try to watch out for that yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And then previous to that, we were in the Netherlands. And one city I still can't pronounce the name in the south, Nimchen or something like this. And then we started in Amsterdam. Uh, so yeah, so that was interesting. How long's the tour? Uh, the tour is uh, like we're doing like 23 performances for sure. So the tour is like uh, three weeks, I think, a little more than three weeks. Um, and we're within our fourth day now. I think been going ever since the first day. So that's that's been interesting. Um, and yeah, trying to yeah for me, I I, I just try who to, are you playing with? Oh, with uh, Induzo Marcatini. Playing with Induzo Marcatini, a uh, great uh, pianist composer from South Africa. Uh, that's my dude too. We've been working together um, uh, for several years now. We actually initially met uh, with uh, playing with uh, Nicola Conti, um, the Italian uh, producer and uh, musician. Something. What would you tell people just trying to get into this thing we call jazz? Well, I mean, I think it's you know uh, Charlie Parker said it best when he said, uh, "Music is your life's experience. If you don't live it, it won't come through your horn." And I think that horn meaning your means of expression, whether it's a pen or a paintbrush or a scalpel or whatever it may be, uh, that artist um, lives through their experiences, and their experiences live through them. And that is that kind of um, uh, cycling is is the thing that I think gives you uh, uh, or establishes this place of meaning in how the art and your 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 particular uh method is put out uh a method just meaning like the way that you uh interpret life how you smell things how you taste things how you see things so i found big growth that i'm going to say great man somewhere outside that um and it's just there you know making these amazing clicks and all those and playing out fair sanders and like amazing bass player, like real killer bass player. They spent a lot of time in Thailand and Indonesia. Uh, what does the sun look like to you? Um, and, 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 and this is the point that I find that's a common thread throughout the course of history is that all of my favorite uh, masters or favorite artists, contemporary uh, and whatnot, um, all seem to really give me uh, personally their self. Uh, via the albums or via the live performances, all my favorites, they always really gave um, so much and trusted me as a listener that I would keep that and protect that as well. And uh, I think that that is the, the space that you want to get to as an artist that you're able to express in this way and that you have that level of trust with the folks that you're, you're putting your, your art out to. And I think everything else will kind of guide itself because life is life and you may not get as much time to spend with your instrument. And I, I, I make this uh, distinction between, uh, I don't say practice, I, I spend time with, with my horn. Like I, I don't practice my mother or my sister or my brother. I don't practice them, I spend time. So it's the same with my instrument. Uh, uh, we spend time together. Um, Cause as much as I give, this horn gives back. And, uh, and I look at the life that I have and the relationship that we, we have together and, and what we've been able to create together uh, with the blessing of God. Um, I, you know, I'm overwhelmed constantly and I, I, I like to think that where I'm at artistically is nothing more than the beginning of a blank canvas that, that hopefully is starting to get ready to be painted on. So, yeah. Mm -hmm.